In this video, we'll be taking a look at one NFL game happening on December 26, 2022, and providing you with a free team pick and total pick for this game, so two picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports, let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released, so that you have more time to plan out your bets, as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on this one NFL game. After fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from one betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Los Angeles Chargers vs. Indianapolis Colts The Los Angeles Chargers pay a visit to Indianapolis, Indiana and Lucas Oil Stadium to play the Indianapolis Colts on NFL Monday Night Football. The Los Angeles Chargers won their second straight when defeating the Tennessee Titans 17-14. Los Angeles can clinch a playoff berth with several different scenarios this week, but all of them begin with a Chargers win on Monday. Indianapolis lost its fourth straight win falling to the Minnesota Vikings 39-36 and have been eliminated from from postseason contention. The Chargers are without Joey Bosa, Richard Rodgers, and Dustin Hopkins amongst others while Bryce Callahan and Derwin James are questionable. The Colts are without Jonathan Taylor, Shaquille Leonard, Tyquan Lewis, and Armani Watts amongst others, while Kenny Moore II, Keelan Granson, and Mike Strachan are questionable. The Indianapolis Colts suffered a tough 39-36 overtime defeat at the Minnesota Vikings in Week 15, extending their losing streak to four games. The Colts blew a massive 33-0 zero lead from halftime, allowing the Vikings to mount the biggest comeback in NFL history. Indy won the turnover battle 3-1 but yielded a whopping 518 total yards. The Colts racked up 171 yards on the ground even though Jonathan Taylor exited early in the first quarter due to an ankle injury. Taylor will miss the remainder of the season. The Indianapolis offense has struggled all season. The Colts are averaging 17.5 points per game which is 29th in the NFL. The Colts are 24th in rushing, averaging 100 5.2 yards per game. Indianapolis is 19th in passing yardage at 214.4 yards per game and overall the Colts are 24th in total offense at 319.6 yards per game. Indianapolis has announced they will sit starting quarterback Matt Ryan and start Nick Foles who has appeared in one game for the Colts but has not attempted a pass this season. Indianapolis running back Jonathan Taylor, who leads the team in rushing with 861 yards, is on injured reserve, and Deion Jackson, who has 191 yards rushing will be the lead back on Monday. Michael Pittman Jr. is the leading receiver with 815 yards and a pair of touchdowns. Indianapolis is allowing an average of 24 points per game which is 24th in the NFL. The Colts are allowing an average of 123.7 yards rushing which is 20th, 205.6 yards passing which is 10th, for a total of 329.3 yards per game which is 12th. Linebacker Zaire Franklin is the leading tackler with 141 and linebacker Bobby Okrick is second with 120 tackles. The leader in quarterback sacks is Yannick Ngaku with 9.5, while the leaders in interceptions are Stephon Gilmore and Rodney Thomas with two each. The Los Angeles Chargers are coming off a huge 17-14 victory over the Tennessee Titans in Week 15. The Chargers outgained the Titans 365-284 to in total yards and escaped with a victory thanks to Cameron Dicker's 43 yard field goal with four seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. Tennessee tied the game at 14 to 14 with 48 seconds left on the clock. But Justin Herbert completed a 35-yard pass to Mike Williams to get the Chargers into field goal range. The Los Angeles Chargers are scoring an average of 22 points per game which is 14th in the NFL which has helped Los Angeles to be in the thick of the postseason race with three games remaining on the regular season schedule. The Chargers are averaging 83.7 yards per game rushing and 274.2 yards per game passing. The Chargers are next to last in rushing and second in passing, while the overall offense at 357 points. 9 yards per game is 12th. Justin Herbert has 4109 yards passing with 21 touchdowns and 9 interceptions. Austin Eckler is the leading rusher with 692 yards and has scored 9 rushing touchdowns. Joshua Palmer has 714 yards receiving and 3 touchdowns to lead all Chargers receivers. Los Angeles has 4 receivers with 532 yards or more and a combined 14 touchdown receptions. The Los Angeles defense is weaker than its offense. The Chargers are 25th in points allowed at 24 points per game and 21st 
first in yardage allowed at 354.5 yards per game. The Chargers allow an average of 145.6 yards rushing, which is 28th in the NFL, and 208.9 yards passing, which is 11th. Linebacker Drew Tranquil is the leading tackler for Los Angeles with 118, and safety Derwin James Jr. is second with 106. The leader in quarterback sacks is Kyle Mack with 7.0. Cornerback Bryce Callahan is the leader in interceptions with 3. The Chargers are 1-3-1 to to against the spread in their last 5 games in December and 5-2 to against the spread in their last 7 road games. The Colts are 4-1 to against the spread in their last 5 games in December and 2-5 to against the spread in their last 7 games following against the spread win. The under is 5-2 in Chargers' last seven games overall. The over is 4-1 in Colts' last five games overall. The Chargers are 4-1 against the spread in their last five meetings in Indianapolis and 7-2-1 against the spread in their last 10 meetings. The underdog is 7-2-1 against the spread in their last 10 meetings. The home team is 3-1-1 against the spread in their last five meetings. Los Angeles is battling for a postseason berth in the AFC and is currently sixth overall in the conference. Indianapolis has been eliminated from postseason contention. The Colts will start veteran QB Nick Foles, who has not thrown a pass this season for Indianapolis. Last season, Foles appeared in one game for the Bears and in 2020, played in nine games for Chicago. The Colts also added leading rusher Jonathan Taylor to injured reserve this week and Deion Jackson, who has just 191 yards rushing this season, will start at tailback. The Chargers have won two straight and three of the last four to put themselves in the middle of the playoff hunt. The Los Angeles Chargers are one of those teams that fall apart right when you're ready to believe in them, so them losing this game outright wouldn't surprise me. However, the Indianapolis Colts are looking more and more like a team that's coached by someone who was on ESPN a few weeks ago. I also have no idea how the Colts respond after blowing a 33-point lead. The morale of the Colts can't be great, and I wouldn't be surprised if they came out flat. Los Angeles has covered the spread five of its last seven played on the road. Indianapolis has failed to cover seven of the last ten head-to-head against Los Angeles and at home. The Colts have covered the spread in just one of the last four versus the Chargers. So the Los Angeles Chargers to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. The total has finished under in four out of the last six meetings between the Los Angeles Chargers and Indianapolis Colts. Indianapolis will find it hard to generate much against the Chargers, as the Colts will have a new quarterback under center who hasn't thrown a pass this season while appearing in just one game for the Colts. The Colts will also have a second string running back. I'm expecting to see a better performance from the Colts' defensive unit after that embarrassment against the Vikings. If that happens and the Chargers continue to play solid defense, we'll see less than 47 points on the scoreboard. The Colts have hit a 20-point mark twice in their last eight outings. The total has finished under in four out of last five games that the Chargers have played against a team from the AFC and in five of the Chargers' last seven games overall. The total has finished under in six of the last eight games that Indianapolis has played at home. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.